Greetings, everyone. Welcome to another episode on Plea for the People. I'm your Valley instructor, Mimi, and today I will be giving a beginner through intermediate level online ballet class. And later on, we have a very special portion of our class, and I will be talking about the innovative uh, educational tools out there for dance teachers and also for dancers. And today, specifically, we will be talking about the self assessment tool for ballet learning. And it's a website called Quizzes. And I will be diving into the lecture talking about how to access this incredible portal of knowledge uh, for self-assessing and as a ballet student you want to eventually be able to be your own coach so this will be a really great tool and there's also a bonus application that I wanted to introduce as well if you are someone that likes to piece together ideas visually um, so this is a wonderful tool as well so we will be diving into some educational elements of ballet learning and without any further ado let's go do some ballet for our plie dancers, we begin first. Just two demi plies in first. Three and a four. A full brown. Six, seven and an eight. Parallel, turning in. In sixth position, going back, turn it out. Turn your second position. One full brown plie in there. And rise, releve, then reverse your porta bras in your brown plie. Heel down and eight. To your upper right side bend, reach around front your balance, away, six, seven, tanju, circle to fourth, plie and stretch, side bend and stretch, plie and stretch, side bend away and stretch, lift, do the gold quarter bra all the way around, five, six, tanju into third, two positions, I mean two plies, in third, cron, six, seven, and eight, reverse your porta bra, bring your arm across your heart, you're gonna reverse all that, good stuff, come out of it, draw it towards your back foot, coming into a tight susu, find your balance, no wiggle, come out of it, release, into third, and that's all there is to it. Follow along with me with this lovely piece of music, here we go. <laughs> Prepare two plies in first gentle knees again. We crumb plie, warming up the hips, the knees, and the ankles. We turn in parallel, rolling down, rolling up, and lift to go back. Use this abdominals to help you return. Wrong plie in second. Nice and gentle. Knees to the side. We're gonna lift up into the And now we're gonna reverse our vertebra and in side stretch. Now find your balance. I'm gonna go away. Now let's come into a fourth position. A gentle demi plie from your side, then return again and away. Return, lift the thigh out of the corner, round. And let's come to third. We complete a stretch. Two, a kind of a stretch from in third position. And we're going to reverse our quarter bra, our hands reverse. Two cover. 
over to the back. And then sit position, round feet to begin inside the foot. And we're going to come to a round leg position. Then we're going to reverse our quarter row. Down, heel step, then return. Side stretch. Side stretch. Repeat. Diagonal and reach. We will start with a first position and dive into our tongues, which means to stretch. Arm prepares front, open to the side. Two to the front, tongues, the second with the plie and a side. And in side with the plie and a back. And then in back with the plie, then two, tongues, then three, tongues, reverse. In Second with the plie and a out and a in out with the plie and a front and the in front with the plie and a out and out and a one two three repeat now with the quarter bra side open and down and a back and arms in front and a one two one two three reverse two plie just with the poor bra, front, arm is up in the side, 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 side. Just finish flat, that's all there is to it. Lots of tondus, everything is on the floor, part tear. So just follow along with me, here we go, dancers. Prepare, here we go, two to the front, one, Reverse. 
dancers. We're gonna prepare our arms. We go front, bring it back to a coupe. Toe is still parked here on the earth. They're still kind of tracing your floor and then step it down into third. We need to do that twice through, in and down. Then to the side, same idea, trace it to the back and down. Side, coupe, hand down. Just two, palm, deuce. Two, palm, deuce. And a one, and a one. One with a plie to the back. Now you're ready to reverse it. Out, in, down, and a out, in, down. We go side, in, down, side. Coupe down, and a two, and a two. We go one, and one, and plie. And we're just gonna reverse all that patterning one more time, and now you can add your quarter bra. A front, in, down, and a front, in, down. Side, in, down, and a side, in, down. And a two, to the front, two, to the side. A one, a one, a plie. And a back, in, down. Back, step it down, and a side, and a side, and a two, and a two, and a one, each direction and a plie. That's all there is to it. Lots of leg work just to get our hips and legs moving. Here we go, dancers. Third. Without the arms, we go front, we go to side, down, side, knee, stand up. We go two. And two, just one each direction. Last time we added three. Three was out, in. Me to the side, in the side, in. Side, in. We go two. Side foot, then three to the side, reverse. Back and a two and a three and a four. One inside front side, change and change. Second set with our core bra four four a one a three. Reverse to the back. Four four just one and three seven and eight. Let's do a side stretch two and three and four four bend six seven eight back two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Plie up, coming up into a coupe. Find your balance, six, seven, and a eight. Just that much, okay? Here we go, dancers. It's gonna be pretty quick. Here we go, we go one, two, inside, back, here we go, outside, side, four, three, to the back, four, four, up front, and three, with the quarter bra, out, in, and three, and a four, one, three, four, five, and a one, and three, Second portion, we go side stretch. Let's find our 
counterbalance ink. And finish Good. left side answers. Today, dancers, we're going to be combining the first side with the second side so it's all together enmeshed into one combo. Okay, so on the first side, we're going to be getting third round de jambe leg circles. We go a front with a plie, carry back, extend, and standing straight on your supporting knee now. So we're going to, we're going to do two regular round de jambes. Repeat front, carry back, and a two. Second one, you stop to the front so that we can reverse it all from the back. Uh, back. And the quarter bar to reverse it from the back. It's almost like over, around, and a two, and a two, and a over, around. Then just one and a half, one and a half. From here, we're going to promenade one eighth of a turn. Now you're on a diagonal. You lift up into arabesque, hold, and hold. Promenade one more time now, you're gonna bring it into attitude. Hold and hold. Plie and up, plie and up. Come out of it, then going over to the left side right away, okay? So uh, one, two, three, reverse, two, three. Then after here, we go one eighth of a turn, lift to arabesque, one eighth of a turn, lift attitude, plie, extend in arabesque, in attitude, plie, in attitude, out, transfer of your weight going over to the other side, okay? Just follow along with me, do the best that you can, dancers. And that last bit should really uh, help you strengthen your supporting leg when you're in this beautiful position, either in back attitude or arabesque. So we're gonna be working on those positions, okay? Great, here we go. Just a simple preparation to begin. Here we go. Plie, carry back, two round the jumps, repeat. And stop, we reverse. Once more. Stay arabesque. Promenade. Lift into arabesque. Promenade again. And from your left into attitude. We go plie A and stretch. Plie A and stretch. Come out of it. Shift. Now we're ready to do to the left. We go plie. Here we back. Two, repeat. Reverse. Transfer. 
come back to the first side and finish. Dancers, we move on to front base, which is to strike. Preparing to the front with a flex foot here at your ankle. Then we're going to strike front or two. Then you're going to closing third. Then you're going to replace the back foot with a coupe to back and getting ready to do it to the left. Two to the side, closing back and coupe front with a bent knee. Coupe needs to cut. Then step on it to the back or two, coupe and a prep. Then from here, we go um, actually from here. Shoot it out, then we're going to do a wrong de jambe en l'air, two and three. Now you're going to reverse it to the back. Frappe and a frappe, replace and prep. Side four, two, and replace and prep. Front four, two, replace and shoot it out. Then we're going to do circle, 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 and a close. Just that much, then plie, rise. Let's find your passe. If you can balance, that would be great. That's all there is to it. It's a really short combo. Front and a front. Replace and out. Side and a side. Replace and out. Back and back. Replace and shoot it out in negligee. Then circle on the dawn and cross. Back, back, replace. Side, side, cut over, replace. Front, front, and out. On the oar, on the oar, on the oar, and move. Plie up. Passe, find your balance, and done. Okay? Two to the front, front may replace. Side, replace. Back, shoot it out. We go one and two and three. Three to the front, grand bawa, she means large beating or kicks. So we're gonna go one, two, three, third one. We plie, we go side. Two, three, plie. Same thing back, four, three, fourth count. We plie, we posse over, step across susu. Then without anything, you're gonna do a degage to the side on releve, then another. Those are called assemblies. Um, in the center, usually when we jump uh, in a normal studio, we would rush to the side and we beat and we jump to meet it. So that's called an assemble. But we're gonna just do it without the jumping. We go side and a two. Prep to the left. Three to the front, plie. We're gonna go to the left immediately. Plie back through two, three, plie. Posse over, step into susu, then a side and a side. Plie and done. Okay? Run by moss. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Assembly, 
we go seven. Now to the back. wonderful work so far and here is our lecture enjoy welcome to a very special lecture portion of today's class on play for the people i was inspired by combining the idea of ballet education with technological advancements and innovation here that we have online more and more due to the pandemic uh, because of the pandemic uh, was able to stir up the whole idea of shifting everybody from the in-person to the virtual, uh, the whole experience is also creating lots of wiggle room for creativity and innovation in dance and education. And I truly believe that we are paving something brand new, uh, a brand new frontier with combining technology advancements, um, online resources uh, with ballet and dance education. And uh, it's just a lot of innovative uh, ideas are out there. So I wanna be able to sort of um, bring it all together uh, on our platform, on our channel, so that it becomes like a central source of um, central access point for many resources that are available out there. And that, uh, so today we will be exploring how to access um, this incredible self-assessment tool online uh, called Quizzes. And, um, and be able to see where uh, we're at in terms of our level of ballet knowledge. And also um, this tool can also help us contribute to the potential norm of a future environment, learning environment for ballet online. Um, and I'm just really excited to share this tool with us today. So I'm gonna be pulling up the uh, website right now. And quizzes is right here, as you can see on your screen. And before we dive into a quiz together to see how much vocabulary if we have accumulated, uh, throughout your journey here on Play for the People. I wanted to uh, just let you know the reason why I want to give us a little preparation before we take the quizzes because the quizzes here are actually timed. Uh, they are uh, within a time constraint, so I don't want to stress anyone out. So because of that, I uh, will be pulling up another wonderful online resource um, that's actually within your Google account. It's called Jamboard. And this is um, a slide that I created on Jamboard already. Um, but just to show you how you get there, if you're interested in ever sort of to generate ideas of your own, whether you are a dance teacher or you are just someone that likes to think out loud, um, this is a wonderful way uh, for you to access. It's basically just a whiteboard, but digital for, for the digital world. So if you go over to Google um, and if you toggle your, your mouse over to this little like nine squares, it's called the waffle, I think, uh, on Google, you're going to click on it and it gives you a menu of options here on all the applications that Google has conveniently created for all of us. And if you just scroll down, it could be maybe at the top already, but wherever it is, it's, it's called uh, Jamboard. And you just want to click on that and it leads you to your files already that's already in existence if you have it. So that's how you would find it. For example, let's review some of the basic terminologies in ballet that we have uh, been trying um, on our channel. So what I really love about this, these um, features over here on the left is the sticky option, the sticky note option. So when I click on it, I can simply, I don't know, I think pink will be a nicer, you can even color code it if you want, right? For now, I'm just gonna pick pink and let's just say, um, what does plie mean? Question mark. And because we're just reviewing what it means, I'm going to type answer is, you guessed it, to bend. Exactly. And then I'm going to do save. And it's going to automatically generate 
a sticky and you can even move it right and you can make it bigger and so this is again thinking out loud for yourself maybe before an exam you can come to this whiteboard and just come up with ideas or review things on your own uh, let's make another sticky let's talk about how about the meaning of a tondu what does tondu mean means question mark and the answer is to stretch okay to stretch your foot okay and let's move the sticky a little bit lower there we go and if you click on the three dots over here you can edit it you can duplicate it you can delete it etc and so let's just keep on kind of calling out some other terms how about a fondue right fondue means oops, means okay and the answer is to melt right great and let's move this out of over here and uh, you can also, you know, um, in terms of aesthetics, you can also set a different background if you need to and add photos like I did here um, with a screen capture of one of my episodes and also the logo of Play for the People. And how about how many, I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud here, how many foot positions are there in ballet? Right? And the answer is, well, there's the classic five five positions of the feet, but then you can also add the parallel or sixth position, right? Parallel, oops, oops, parallel position, right? So together there's six positions and you're gonna save that, right? You're just reviewing and you can also review um, collaboratively with like, I don't know, a thought partner or someone that you can uh, review like a quiz before, before you guys take it. Um, and let's go with how about um, where does turnout start? Um, like anatomically, I mean. Anatomically, okay? So the answer is it's going to be at the top of the hips, top of the hips right save great all right so let's just again move this over here make it a little bit bigger there we go so everyone can see better and i don't know let's let's come up with something else maybe how about like um what does let's change a different color just so that you can see the different options here um what does today mean in ballet and for those of us who knows it is to jump great let's save that and um and let's just do one more and let's switch to a different color just to you know spice things up a little bit on the sheet let's go i don't know orange orange why not let's go with um how about what is an adagio capitalize that what is an adagio right it's you know slow movements and it literally means at ease right save so these are just some of the ideas that you know i just wanted to show you how you can um maneuver around using uh, Jamboard for any kind of preparation before a test, a quiz, a presentation, or just sharing some ideas with other people, okay? Um, I think we are actually ready to take the quiz together. So without any further ado, I'm gonna click on quizzes and just gonna show you also, you don't have to make your own. Um, although, you know, when you go to the homepage on quizzes, it gives you an option of creating an account and that you can log in and you can start um, making up your own quizzes or quiz. And as you scroll down, you have already pre-made quizzes for you um, ordered in uh, by subject, right? So you can just click on any of these quizzes. Um, but uh, of course, for ballet purposes, it's applicable if we just type it in the search query ballet and hit return. And it's going to come out with a whole bunch of results, 
right? You're going to have tons of results for the subject of ballet. And you can even load more, but you get the point. If you just keep scrolling down, there's more quizzes available for you. Um, some are uh, really vocabulary based. Some are terminologies and Christmas ballet trivia. That sounds like a really fun going to the ballet academy. Um, so ballet history, Nutcracker. Um, so you can really make up, you know, any subjects and any um, specific branches of a subject you can touch up on, you know, as a teacher, if you are, if you're a student, it's just nice to kind of browse through um, this wonderful library of ballet quizzes already. But for today, we're going to be taking a quiz that has 20 questions in it. It's titled Ballet Vocabulary, and it's right here. So let's just click on that and see what happens. So it tells you the author is by Christine Elliott, and it's designed for grades 9 through 12. But it doesn't really matter. I think it's good for adults, if you're an adult, to uh, review these terminologies, um, especially as a novice dancer. This is great, and it's give, giving you some preview of some of the questions. Um, and also, um, you can click to practice right away or do the quiz right away, or you can even send it to a friend and challenge them and, and share it, right? There's a share button here as well. So without any further ado, remember this quiz will be timed. So, but I think we are prepared. So let's do this together. Let's click on practice. And also um, it, it has the option of having some flashcards. So you can just prepare yourself that way too without using the other app that I showed you earlier. Um, or you can just start. So we're gonna start right away. And it's got audio and music in the background as well. Okay, so the first question. The timer is going off like this, the gray bar on top. Passe is, okay, and this dancer is illustrating it, and it is, ding, 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 you're right, it's pass. Sounds very similar to the question step. And it's telling you how many points you got. Grand plié is, I'm going to say three, full bend of the knee, click on it. But you get the idea, it's very cool. You know, it's got a nice calming music in the background. Um, the questions are very doable. What is a saute? We talked about that. And it's a jump. This beautiful dancer is jumping. What is dégagé? To disengage. We talk about a lot. Um, on what that usually means in our classes. Click there. So you're about to get some kind of a, like a bonus, uh, you know, power up little ammunition. Um, so yeah, so we've got a double jeopardy and I believe that means to double the points, right? Okay, so let's just activate it. I just wanna show you what that means. Um, so demi plie is half the of the knee. Remember demi is half, so let's just to double make sure. Okay, great. Let's click on there. There we go. And now we earn double the points. Alrighty, let's continue. What is an awesome play? Okay, this is something that we usually do at the center of a normal ballet class, but since we're stuck at home, assemble sometimes can simply mean to release your leg and cross it in front of you, cross it in the back of you on susu. So it means to just assemble. Wow, we've got a lot of points already. Coupe. It's, it's meaning to, okay, cut. That. Great. Oh, good. We're going to have another um, little bonus ammunition. We have an, the immunity. Oh, that's cool. All right, lots of points. Barrier is back. Going backwards with our tondus, with our negligees. What does jeté mean? Jeté. Mmm, jeté is to th throw or thrown. We're going off into the air, so you need to take off. So you need to throw your leg off or foot off into the air, okay? Tondu. It's to stretch. We just reviewed it. We just talked about it. So, oh, there's the Simpsons. Okay, halfway done. That's that's exciting. All right, friends, let's continue. Relevé means to rise or we lift. Okay. Great. 
Yeah, some of these terms might be a little outdated, but as long as you still know what it means, you should be able to kind of process of elimination and you should be able to get it right. Um, Ishape means to escape. What is escape? We're getting something again. Let's see what else. Erase or eliminate one incorrect option. Oh, that's interesting. All right. I feel like I mean, like, who wants to be a millionaire or something? Like, you have these am ammunitions that you can use, like, phone a friend and all these stuff. Okay, phone, did we just talk about it? It means to melt. But let's just try the eraser option. Let's just see what happens. Oh, okay, great. So it means melt it or melt. Okay. Nay is A, the Nivdanese half turn. Okay, we don't really do this in, on plie, but um, I actually did this in some of the episodes when I had like a special guest to come on to do a special Ravaron. So we did do some half turns, okay? But let's click on immunity and see what happens. Activate, get a second chance, okay? Half turn. I guess we didn't need that after all, but that's okay. Let's see, let's see what else. What is a Rana Jam? We always do our Rana Joms and in the circle of the leg. Great. Oh, we're getting something exciting again in our back pocket. Oh, time freeze. This should be a good one. Okay. Since I talk a lot, I think this will be very, very handy. Divong means. Okay, let's just use the time freeze for a sec. Okay. So now the gray bar stopped going down. Okay. I know dear you're and let's just mute the music for a sec. Um to also show you what kind of options that we have here. And can we zoom in? Yes, we can. So we zoomed into the basically the photo that was in the picture um, that's on top in the question stem. But yes, friends, so um, basically devant is to the front. Sometimes I say it, uh, I use this term um, on play for the people, but sometimes I don't. And also derriere is the opposite, is back. So we already had the derriere option. So divan again means front, um, side. Usually I just say a la second, but it's just, it's just more for the people if I say front, back, or side instead of the French version. But this is good information for you all to know. Great. Three more questions. Reverence. Oh, come on, guys. You know I'm a big fan of reverence, so you should get this one right. Okay, let's go for curtsy or bow. I love your reverence. Okay, tombe, it's two. Tombe, it's two. It's actually falling. Okay, it's falling into a step. In ballet, you're, this is a transitioning step. You're stepping over and then you're gonna tombe or step over something or under something. Tombe means to fall. It's, very, it's making the dance very, very exciting. Yeah, we don't do tombe too much um, on play because we use a lot of the apparatus and bar work. That's what we focus on. Okay, what does chasse mean? This one we also do not really use that much just because of space can be tight. And this is a local motor traveling step or transition step in ballet and it means chase. Okay, one last question, let's get this right. Thought ma is what? We do this a lot. We do this a lot on plie. Usually it's the last exercise that we do before reverence or before our guest is revealed. And this is the big beat or the large beat. So therefore I see the word beat in this question choice. I mean, answer choice. So we're gonna go with beating kick. Okay, so hot right now. Okay, interesting. All right, and we got to the top and that's the end. Okay, so there's your sample um, quizzes, quiz that we just did. You can do it again, and you can see how many points you got. You can see the accuracy of your quiz, and we are a guest, um, and uh, the ranking is here. I'm not really sure what that means, but that's okay. And then what's cool is that it gives you the review of all the questions one more time down here so if you want to print it out if you want to continue to study over it this is a great tool as well at the end you know so we're gonna exit out of here and that is today's presentation dancers I hope you guys had a great time learning how to navigate 
on this wonderful online self-assessment tool called Quizzes. And I highly recommend uh, going back to the curry box and just type in our subject. And you can pick out any other quizzes that uh, we haven't touched up on. And you have so many choices today. Um, there, oh, cool. There's also a Tchaikovsky ballet one. This is pretty cool. And so, yeah, so you can definitely choose whichever one that you want to try out. And I hope you really enjoyed both the applications that I showed, both the, um, the Jamboard and also the Quizzes app or the Quizzes website. Let's go back to our class. See you soon. Dancers, welcome back. I hope you had a blast taking that quiz on Quizzes with me and learned a lot. And um, perhaps you will utilize this uh, website uh, in addition to learning on Play for the People or utilizing the Jamboard for any creative endeavors that you have of your own um, at work or in life. So I hope this um, lecture was very informative, not only in ballet, but also in your personal development. And dancers, I hope you really enjoyed your experience today with us on Plea for the People. And give it a like, give it a nice comment or something like that. You can write to us directly at plea for the people at gmail.com or um, subscribe to our channel today if you haven't done so already or you know share this wonderful platform. And uh, I would say like a dance hub. Uh, central source for so many uh, innovation that's out there um, for online learning. Answers before our next episode, please stay hydrated and keep on practicing your ballet technique. I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.